Ferrari were much better, though, this time, weren't they? It, and it was a little bit of a surprise, you know, with their Monza spec car. They obviously put a lot of effort into that. And they kind of arrived with a hell of a lot more hope. You know, they took pole position. I mean, obviously they didn't win the race. Yeah, the that's end, true. But but they but they put on a show, didn't they, for the for the home crowd? Oh yeah, absolutely. It was good to see Ferrari coming back. Um, I mean, last year obviously they were like for uh, Charlotte Claire was leading the champion for, leading the championship for a little bit. So we know that they have the ability to a good car with these regular you know. um obviously it was you know carlos signs in this case that was up on pull but we know that they can still it's nice to see they can still be competitive i think it also from this race it proves maybe they have a more solid power unit than maybe red bull i mean they were like before drs right um carlos signs was able to actually pull away from max verstappen on the straights just straight up going so you know that could just be something that like comes with their car as a package it's just a slightly better power unit um, but yeah, it was good seeing Ferrari back up on the top step. I was a little disappointed that we didn't see Charles Leclerc personally, like getting pole and stuff. But obviously, both Ferrari drivers performed really, really well. Just out of the two, I did prefer Charles Leclerc just a little bit, but that's just me. But yeah, it was good to see them back on top, all in all. Absolutely. And kind of, you mentioning Leclerc there. Was Logan, was it more. Leclerc not performing or was it Sainz overperforming? You know, because I think I have to say I can't remember much better kind of race weekends that Carlos Sainz has had, particularly in in a Ferrari, than what he had at Monza. I know he's not won the race or anything, but, you know, pole at Monza and he was really competitive in the race. You know, he was putting on a real, a real kind of dogged display defending throughout and yeah i'd I'd be interested what what do you think is it more leclerc not living up to the potential that he has at monza or was it more science kind of having a really good weekend or was it kind of a mix of the two oh it's honestly it's a boring answer but it's impossible to tell you know we don't (laughs) have the data for was uh signs just driving more precisely to get the little bit more pace did he find something a little bit extra in his setup? You know, if if that's not data we have, then we don't know where that gap is. I mean, you see it pretty much across the board, unless if your teammates trash, you're not going to beat them every single week. And these guys are genuinely close together in pace. So it's not super surprising when you see one on top of the other. Yeah, absolutely. Well, they, the teammates had a Ferrari teammates, sorry, had a great battle uh, during the race. And, it was quite clear that they were allowed to race and it kind of got a little bit interesting at the end, Luke. I mean, Leclerc, he had a, a proper look into turn one and kind of locked the brakes. And I think a couple of laps before they went wide at the second chicane as well. And yeah. it, it was it, obviously nothing happened. But do you think it was, you know, obviously as a as the viewing public, it was good to see. But it put yourself in, you know, let's say your Ferrari team principal, Luke. Would you have been allowing that, you know, at the Italian Grand Prix, or, or is there kind of not as much to fight for? Because I guess they are, they have a chance to catch Mercedes this season in the constructors. So I guess there was quite a lot on the line. But what did you make of the kind of inter-team battle in, on the track? In this case specifically, right? I don't think it was necessary, or I don't think it was, you know super great just because at a certain you know at a certain point max verstappen and sergio perez took the two top two spots kind of like what we expect right so the fact that they were battling for third and fourth just between each other i do think was a little stupid so yeah if i was a team principal personally i do think i would be a little bit frustrated you know if like imagine if they, one of them had been taken out or both of them suffered wing damage you know i think you know i think the mercedes were pretty far behind i think the mercedes were like 10 seconds behind them at the end of the race but still, like that could have, like if it had been a big incident from them fighting, it could have been a pretty bad situation, you know. I mean, would like uh, if Carlos Sainz hadn't been in the points, you're right as well. Like it would definitely be a knock against them in this in the uh, constructors championship against Mercedes, you know. Yeah, and I I was kind of having especially that last lap, I was having instant flashbacks of Ricardo Verstappen at uh, Baku. Yeah, yeah. When I saw, like, Leclerc lock up, I was, like, so worried that he was just going to plow into the back of Sainz. I mean... Oh, yeah, totally. 
you know, is 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 kind of loved as he is, if you like, by uh, Ferrari fans. I don't think he would have made out there alive if they took he, <laughs> if they took both of them out. You know, I mean, can you imagine that, Logan? Imagine if they crashed on that last lap. I mean, that would have been something, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, that would have really upset those fans. I don't know if anyone <laughs> would even leave the track without getting swarmed by them. Yeah, that would have been uh, pretty nasty. But judging from even how happy they were with each other after the race, you can tell that it was very, it's all in good fun between them and fair competition. You know, they weren't bitter towards each other in any way. So maybe that plays into why Ferrari lets them race because they understand that the drivers do respect each other and do respect each other's space. So that probably mm-hmm. goes into it. You know, it would be much different if you were Alpine, for example, where your teammates don't particularly like each other and are hyper competitive yeah. against each other. But when you got two guys on the same pace, on, on the same pace and on the same page of being pro team, you know, it's definitely a different situation in terms of how you would manage that. Yeah, it's it's kind of like healthy battling in a way. It's not like they're kind of trying to do it to get one on, on over the other. Obviously, one of them would rather have a podium at Monza than not. But you know, it <laughs> yeah, was, you know, they, it wasn't the kind of like you say. You know, I'm thinking like a Ocon Alonso last season and things like that, where you can clearly see that they're not thinking about the team at all. But um. Yeah, I actually thought the, the racing was quite good at Monza. It's usually a bit of a slipstream fest, which I know it probably still was, but I actually thought they had the DRS pretty spot on. 